Block 5 refers to a series of upgrades that we've made to Falcon 9 as part of our ongoing effort to make spaceflight more like commercial air travel is today. Uh, this version of Falcon 9 you can see on your screen is designed for 10 or more flights with very limited refurbishment, but should be capable of additional flights with further testing and possible additional refurbishment. Uh, some of the changes are actually very visible in this rocket, most notably the inner stage, this raceway cover down here, and the landing legs. Uh, with all of these parts used to be white, but now they're black, which is the natural cover color of our improved thermal protection material, which doesn't require painting like the cork that we previously used. It's highly flame resistant and also holds up better to the elements. In particular, it's hydrophobic, meaning that it repels water. In addition to these changes, we've also made changes to the nine Merlin 1D engines at the base of the Falcon 9 rocket right down here. The thrust of these Merlin 1D engines has increased from 176,000 pound force to 190,000 pound force at sea level, which represents approximately an 8% thrust increase. We've also changed the primary thrust structure that houses the engines, which we call the octaweb, down here, from a welded aluminum structure to a bolted structure. This greatly reduces the manufacturing and inspection burden and increases reliability and shortens the lead time towards production. Additional improvements have been made to the landing legs to support rapid post-landing vehicle recovery, and we've also upgraded the operational capability of, of components across the board. The ultimate goal of all these improvements is uh, to be capable of relaunching a flown booster within 24 hours with minimal refurbishment. That doesn't mean that we want to fly a rocket once per day, but it means that we could if we needed to.